morning everybody welcome back to the channel so a bit of a uh, autumnal sky and we've had uh, quite a lot of rain recently we're averaging about sort of seven millimeters a day at the moment but it's having a great effect on my cover crops you can see here the, this mustard is in fact out into true leaves the cotyledons are dying back not too much uh, slug damage either so at last we've got some cover crop growth nice to see we're uh, beginning to start the cycle again so this cover crop was established by uh, with the cunero so blowing into a standing crop of wheat and is often the case with regenerative and the need for observation I would say that the uh, strike rate is lower here where this is just into sort of conventional standing than here where it's obviously been consolidated by the wheels now of course the wheels of the tractor went through first and the and not this crop down and then the seed was blown on so it won't be as a result of, of consolidation so you can say like rolling wouldn't have made it better it was probably something to do with a bit more moisture retention a bit more shading as a result here and just enough to make the difference as you go up the field you can see an interesting question is do cover crops offer a yield benefit again due to a little bit of luck i think i can answer the question i have a field threatened with a local road building program and as a result didn't think i was going to grow a crop for harvest 2022 as a result i didn't plan or plant a cover crop in autumn 2021 in addition we have a field very close by of a very similar soil type which did have a cover crop in autumn 2021. Otherwise, the two fields have a similar cropping history. Well, I thought so, until I checked the cropping history and found that the road field was growing a third spring wheat, having grown an in overwinter cover crop the previous two years, while the neighbouring comparison field was on a first spring wheat after an all seed rape canola break. Unfortunately, this weakens the comparison, but the neighbour cover crop field achieved a whole field yield average of 5.1 tonnes per hectare from 35 kilos of N, and the road field achieved 4.6 tonnes per hectare with identical nitrogen. Sorry, this comparison isn't as comparable as I had initially thought, but still an interesting difference. Again, it would be good to know if there is any research regarding what effect overwinter cover crops have on take-all effects in continuous spring wheat rotations. If anyone knows, uh, please drop me a line in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and click on the bell for when our next video goes live. See you later. Bye.